I'm back again. Listen to this. <clears throat> Another part of this on Lewis McFadden. Uh, when you look it up, uh, thieves go scot free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It says thieves go scot free. Are you going to let these thieves get off scot free? Is there one law for the looter? Watch who drives up to the door of the United States Treasury in his limousine, and another for the United States veteran who are sleeping on the floor of the dilapidated house on the outskirts of Washington. All right. Oh my God Almighty. I'm reading that again. This better move you, or there's something wrong with your soul. This better move you. I'm reading it again. Watch. Are you going to let these thieves get off scot free? Is there one law for the looter who drives up to the door of the United States Treasury in his limousine, and another, another, for the United States veterans who are sleeping on the floor of a dilapidated house in the outskirts of Washington? Think about that, brother. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. That sends chills up and down my spine. You understand me? A lot of pain, a lot of hurt in America. And we know right where to point the finger, don't we, brother? Sister. We know right where to point it. It's called Washington, D.C. Let me move on. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad is here asking for a lot. Watch. This is back in the 30s. Same thing's happening again, brother. You got the automakers there. You got the Wall Street white-collar son of a gun. Listen to this. Listen to it. Baltimore and Ohio Railroad is here asking for a large loan from the people. Now watch. The wage earners and the taxpayers of the United States. It is begging for a handout from the government. This was in 34. I watched them today, or yesterday, begging for a handout. The son of a gun's come up there in a Learjet, each one of them, all three of them, with their tin can and their $1,000 or $1,500 suit or $4,000 suit. Oh, please, we got to keep our yachts. Oh, please. I know there's a lot of people work under them, but they're the problem. They're the CEO. You know what a CEO means? Chief Executive Officer. The buck stops with him. Is anybody handing out to you, man? Lady? Ain't nobody giving no, no, nothing out to them people to just close their doors, CV-1122. Ain't nobody giving out to me. Ain't nobody giving out to my sons that lost their job because the plant closed. Ain't nobody giving out to us. I'm going to say this right now. They are ticking us off beyond the point of return is what they're doing. They're ticking us off. They're ticking us off, and I'm talking about real bad. Okay? They're making us mad, people. But that, you know, it'd be a good anger, though. It'd be a good anger. It'd be a good anger. Let it be a good anger. Don't let it stress you out and give you a heart attack. Okay? And I know some of you saying, me? You want to have a heart attack. No, I take orchulation. I don't eat the Burger King junk and all that. I'm good to go, brother. I ain't dying before God wants me to die. Listen to this. Watch this. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad asked him for a large loan of money. Same thing that they did with the GM... Chrysler and all that, brother, and forward. All right, now watch. Is there one law for Baltimore and Ohio Railroad? Another law for the hunger veterans and the American people? Huh? Hunger veterans that threw off its freight cars the other day? Oh, my God. Is there one law for the sleek and prosperous swindlers who call themselves bankers? Another law for the soldiers who defend the flag? Preach it, boy. That joke is preaching, ain't he? Woo! Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm telling you right now, man. Listen, 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 listen. Listen to this. Listen to this. The RSC is taking over these worthless securities. Oh, my God Almighty. The RSC is taking over worthless securities from the Investment Trust of the United States. Treasury money expense of the taxpayer and the wage earner. Happened in 34. Happened this, just a couple of months ago when they passed the bailout bill. See? How much more are we going to put up with? Let's get connected up. Let's get hooked up. Let's put an end to it. Let's put a stop to it. Let's get her done. It's the only way I know how to say it. Listen. Watch this. This is back in 34. It says it'll take 20 years to redeem our government, 20 years of penal servitude to pay off the gambling debts of the treacherous Fed and the traitorous Fed and, and to vast flood of the American wages. Watch. Saving banks deposit the United States. Government credit which the Fed exported out of this country to their foreign principles. I'm finna prophesy right now. I'm finna tell you right now. I'm, you listen to me. And you mark my words. Ain't gonna be no coming back this time. Did you understand me? There's not gonna be no coming back for this monetary system. It ain't coming back. I just prophesied it to you under the under the anointing of God. I feel God right now. It ain't coming back. You better 
hurry up and get your act together. Listen, Fed lately conducted an anti-hoarding campaign here. Watch this. They took the extra money, which they had persuaded the American people to put into the banks, sent it to Europe along with the rest. In the last several months, they have sent uh, one point. I believe it is one trillion three hundred million in gold to the foreign employer. Yep, that's what it is. To the foreign employers, their foreign masters, and every dollar of that gold belonged to the people of the United States, and it was unlawfully taken from them. Oh, great day in the morning. Oh my goodness gracious, boy, boy, boy! History does repeat itself, don't it? Yes, sir. It repeats itself. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. Man, I got to skip over some of this and get through and get to bed, but. Listen, we got a serious situation, people, that's confronting us today. I'm going to let y'all look it up and read the rest of it, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll hit on some of this other stuff. Uh, yeah, remember when Roosevelt seized the gold? He ought to have been hung. He ought to have been hung. Because once he seized the gold, it became a dictatorship. It had never been American free since then. They just, you know, they just flew the flag and pledged allegiance. And, but it really ain't been free. It can be, but not without the same way it became free the first time. Sometimes the tree of liberty has to be, uh, I can't quote it right, sometimes the tree of liberty has to be sprinkled with the blood of patriots. Well, here's what I say. Why don't we just go ahead and fertilize it with the corrupt traitors? Hmm? Let their dead bodies fertilize the tree of liberty. I won't get no further with that, but uh, anyway. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. See, there's two kind of laws. He's issued one kind of proclamation only, and that proclamation to relieve international bankers and foreign debtors of the United States government. Now, now watch. Mr. Chairman, the gold in the banks of this country belongs to American people who have paper money contracts for it. You see? Now watch. There must be a day of reckoning. The Fed have looted the Treasury so the Treasury cannot redeem the United States currency for which it is liable in gold. The Fed must be driven out of the treasury. They must be driven out of existence. They must be driven out of existence. See, they've robbed us, American people. They robbed you. They robbed your wife. They robbed your children. They robbed our grandchildren. They robbed the generations from now on. They've already done it. They've already took it. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's link up, hook up. I'm open to any suggestions that anybody's got. You know, it's terrible to lose your job. It's a terrible thing not to have a job. I well am acquainted with that. But you're out of the system. You don't have to get back in. The corrupt, devilish system. You don't have to get back in. Just think about what I told you on that. You don't got to get back in. You don't got to go. Got to bow, bow back down to them anymore. I see a barter system on the rise anyway. And screw them all if they think I'm going to pay them taxes on what I swap somebody out with. You know? But in any event, i got to shut it down for the night. Uh, try to get them uploaded. It takes a while to upload them on these computers. And uh, But anyway, hope I haven't lost my religion towards you. But, uh, you know, every now and then it's good to get fired up. But uh, God bless you. Uh, keep your nose in the air. Ear to the ground. Don't let them catch you sleeping when you when they come. See you next time.